Welcome to SJC Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor in Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Kadalu. In this video, I am going to teach Determination of Rigidity Modulus by Tosh and Bindalam. Let us consider a wire. It is clamped at the top using the clamp. The bottom end carry a disc. From the center on the diameter of the O, thus they are placing a two equal masses of M from the center of the disc D1. The disc is displaced through an angle theta. The wire is twisted. Due to this, the pendulum gets torsion oscillation, torsional oscillation. The entire system is called torsion pendulum. Here, the time period T1 equal to 2 pi into root of I1 by C. Here, I1 is the moment of inertia. Inertia of the disk of the this with the mass about the axis axis of the wire and C is the torque but Unit twist. From this time period, we can calculate the time period square. Squaring this equation, T1 square equal to 4 pi square I1 by C. Let us consider I0. Let us consider I not the moment of inertia. Inertia of the disk this alone about the axis of wire. And small i is the moment of inertia of the mass, two masses about the parallel axis passing through its center. From the parallel axis theorem, T1 
theorem I1 equal to I0 plus 2i plus 2m d1 square. Substitute the value of y1 from in this equation t1 square we get t1 square equal to 4 pi square i0 4 pi square by c we can write here i0 plus 2i plus 2m d1 square similarly we have to calculate t2 square. For that, the mass is again displaced to new position. Another position having a distance d2. For this, the time period t2 square equal to again 4 pi square by c i naught 2 i plus 2 m d2 square now the uh, new question is d2 on subtracting t1 square from t2 square from t1 square we get T2 square minus T1 square equal to four pi square by C is the common I naught and I naught get cancelled, two A two A get cancelled. We have only two M into T1 D2 square minus T1 square. Here C is the torque per unit twist. Let's take the value C equal to pi g a power 4 by 2L. Substituting the value of C here, we get T2 square minus T1 square equal to 4 pi square divided by pi g a power 4 divided, divided by 2L into 2M d2 square minus d1 square. On simplifying this, t2 square minus t1 square, we get 4 pi square 2M d2 square minus d1 square into 2m which is equal to 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 power divided by pi g a power 4 which is equal to 16 pi square m d2 square minus d1 square into L divided by pi g a power 4. From this equation, we can calculate the rigidity modulus g of the material work of the disk. So, g equal to 16 pi pi square m into l d2 square minus d1 square whole divided by pi a power 4 this t1 to t2 square minus t1 will go here t2 square minus t1 square Pi pi get cancelled, so G equal to sixteen M L D two square minus D one square whole divided by A power four T two square minus D one square.
can a is the radius of the wire l is the length of the wire and mass we are placing in the disc and d2 and d1 is the distance of the mass we are placing from from this known value we can find out the rigidity modulus of the material thank you